Hello world, Shelly here, and it's time for another episode of Foundation Fest. And today I'm going to check out from Pure Lease the Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30. It retails for $35. You get 1.4 fluid ounces or 40 milliliters of product. That is the equivalent of $25 per one ounce of product. And this comes in eight different shades. Because it's a BB cream and you're looking at really light coverage, you generally don't need to have as many shades available because as long as you can get an undertone match, you're gonna be okay with one shade to either side, light or dark. And I really think that this is an inclusive eight shades that they've got. They've really not skewed heavily toward anything light medium or dark there's just the right number of undertones in the list of shades available so bravo there i'm looking at the pure lease website right now it has goji and hawthorn berry to brighten skin jasmine improves skin texture and retains moisture on the box we have a claim that i thought was interesting uh, it's oil free moisturizing natural looking coverage matte meets glowy finish what on earth does that mean? We'll find out. They say it is suitable for all skin types, even sensitive skin. The I took a look at, I'm not familiar with this brand. I haven't tried anything from them. And the it's an it's an Asian beauty, you know, they they call it Asian beauty inspired. And the founder and CEO is a Chinese American woman that grew up in Alabama and apparently some of her grandmother's Chinese beauty secrets are locked into the Pure Lease line. So that is sort of the backstory. It is a woman-owned brand. And let's take a look at this one, swatched against a few others in my collection. Swatch time. First up is today's foundation from Pure Lease, the Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30 in shade light. Second, I've got from CYO, the Life Proof in 101, nearly identical in undertone, just a smidge lighter when it dries down, about a shade lighter. But if you like that undertone, this is a good match. Third, I've got from CoverGirl, the Clean Fresh Skin Milk in shade Fair. Fourth is from NYX, Born to Glow in light ivory. And last, I've got the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 in shade ST3 Bellos. Pure Lease does claim to be a cruelty-free brand. I could not find any third-party verification of that, but I also couldn't find any evidence that they sell in China. So it is probably true. They also say that they're vegan, but I am looking in the ingredients for this particular BB cream and beeswax is listed, which would make this not a vegan product. I don't see any added fragrance. This does have some silicones in it, but they're really pretty far down the list as opposed to being in the top few. So there's not a whole lot of silicone in here. There's a bunch of uh, natural extracts. We've got, oh, some flower extracts, some root extracts, uh, some maple, sugar maple extract. There's some natural stuff in here. So if you do find yourself uh, sensitive to natural extracts and things like that, uh, you might avoid this one, but I have already cleansed, moisturized, and sunscreened this 45-year-old mug. When I'm going for BB creams, I usually don't wear a primer, so I am not wearing a primer right now. I just kind of look to even out, you know, any redness, especially in the summertime what happens is I get red. Like my chin, my nose, my cheeks, they get red, you know, flushed throughout the day. And I like to cover that up. Now, where is my palette? I've got typically dry skin, although in the summer I really get as close to normal as possible. It's like the one moment in time where I can claim normal skin. I don't think I have any active dry flaking skin right now. Of course, foundation always tends to bring it out if it's there. I think I forgot to tell you what shade I have. You saw it in the swatches, but what shade is this? Light. I have shade light. I'll start out with a dampened AOA Studios sponge on one side. This blends out very easily with a sponge. I think a lot of product is, however, soaking into the sponge. Not getting a ton of coverage, but a little bit of 
redness reduction. The undertone of this super duper reminds me of the CYO Life Proof in 101, which is one of my favorite undertones of all time. Even though when you swatch it, it looks kind of gray, but it is just, I love it on my skin. So I'm very pleased with the undertone. Let's see how this does with finger application. BB creams, I usually just kind of run and go. So I'm usually not bothering to dampen a sponge or any of that jazz when I'm going in with a BB cream. See that undertone? Mm, that is just good. That's goodness. you get a little bit more coverage going in with fingertips versus a sponge but I think the finish looks pretty much equal either way so whatever your preference I've got a little bit of product left that I'm gonna just tap over on the other side and see if I can cover up some of my sunspots just a little bit more I don't know about the matte meets dewy I think um, I'm kind of seeing dewy Let's take a look at this one. I think it's very nice in terms of the, just the overall, how it sits on the skin. Uh, it does not look like makeup. It is a nice, your skin, but better. It's a tiny bit edging toward potentially causing polka dot pores on my nose, but we'll see if it kind of calms down and settles down there. I can see a little bit of product sort of clinging to the texture in between my eyebrows, but again, that's that's one thing that might, maybe that's what they mean by the whole matte, glowy, because the, like between my eyebrows looks like it's matte, you know, the, the way that matte foundations tend to cling to my texture there, but the overall appearance of this is a very glowy appearance, so, Overall, I think it looks really nice. It's pretty doggone sticky. I'm gonna give it a few minutes and we'll see if I have to set it with powder. You know, a BB cream, I would rather not have to, but if it stays this tacky, I couldn't put anything over it. Now, if you're just going for this and out, fine, but if I'm gonna bother with this, then I'm gonna bother with my whole face. Otherwise, I just won't do anything at all and just go out with my skincare. So let me give this a few minutes. We will see if I end up having to set it with powder. The time is 3.20. Let me put the rest of my face on. I'll be right back. So far, so good with the Pure Lease BB Cream. I did end up having to set it with powder. It stayed pretty doggone tacky. I think I already put it away. I used the usual Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish set very lightly, just one little swirl. Did the cheeks and perimeter first and then took whatever was left onto the rest of my face. I think it still maintained the whatever they're calling it, the matte glowy finish. I think it still looks nice. It's still going well. Uh, the rest of my face, I'm trying for the first time. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. So I had ordered the lightest shade and then I sort of like second guessed myself and ordered the second lightest shade. I'm wearing the second lightest shade today and I'm super glad that I got this. I think the lightest shade is gonna be good for winter, but I need more color for summer. I like to color myself up a little bit more for summer. And I'm very happy to report that the undertone is leaning red. The reason Fair Skin likes a reddish undertone for bronzer is because when we get sun, we don't naturally tan. We usually get flushed, red, maybe burnt. And let me just show you, I compared it in a swatch on my hand to my beloved Balm Desert, which is a reddish undertone as well and I'm happy to report. So the more reddish one right here is the Balm Desert, definitely more reddish and a bit darker. And this is the second shade of the Charlotte Tilbury, definitely leaning red as well, but a little bit lighter. So to me, a little bit easier to control. The texture of this is holy crapola. It's so smooth, like I can't even, I can't even, I, I can't even, I have words, none. Beautiful, love, things, good, the usual. Natasha Denona, Super Glow, and I put this one away too. Ah, here it is. Hourglass Ambient Diffused Heat Blush. My eyes are my first dip into the 
Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2. I did film this for a future makeup and chill. My lip is the Wayne Goss lip liner in sepia with the Wayne Goss gloss in petunia. Yes, I did order the entire line of lip liners thinking maybe it would get me to be a lip liner kind of person. Gotta admit, it applied quite nicely. So that is what is happening on this face right now. I'll be back with a daylight check-in in a little bit and I will come back tonight, give you guys my final thoughts. I think we have a thunderstorm of brewing, so I want to get out here and get some daylight before before the option disappears. Uh, so here is color match. It's about 90 degrees out here, so but I don't think I'm sweaty. So I think what you're seeing is purely the pure less BB cream in terms of any dewiness. I think it looks nice. I have had a couple of pieces of hair stuck to my face. Uh, it has remained tacky even though I did set it, so not major, but a little bit. And uh, overall, I think this works for a summer shade for me. There we have it. It's about, what time is it? It's 5.20 right now, so it's been about two hours. So here's daylight. I will be back tonight and we will wrap this one up. 1.59 a.m. We are 20 minutes or so shy of the 11 hour mark. Well, let's take a look at how the Pure Least BB Cream, which is somewhere on my desk, <laughs> held up. Here it is. Uh, it's very, very dewy. I want to point out that I'm not sweating right now. It's very hot out today. It probably hit 90. It was very humid for most of the day. But just for comparison, you know, my baby hairs are dry. You know, I'm not sweating. There's no sweat dewiness happening on my chest. This is a very dewy product. And about four hours ago, I did set just the perimeter of my face and my cheeks again with powder because I filmed a really quick intro for my Torrid haul video, which you guys already saw. And this is the result even after having powdered it a second time. I have another problem with this. It, it looks nice. It's sticky. It was... It was tacky all day, it was sticky all day. By 6 p.m., I was really getting annoyed at the fuzzies on my face. I know with the 5.30-ish check-in, I was like, eh, it's not so bad. No, it kept happening, and by 9 p.m., I was like, ugh, this is just driving me nuts. Because you have that feeling of just, see, I just got it again. Like, you feel like you're itching, because it'll just be a tiny little piece of fuzz that's stuck on your face. And maybe it wouldn't behave this way if it wasn't humid outside, but the days I'm going to use a BB cream, this is the weather that I most likely am going to reach for a BB cream instead of a regular foundation. So if that's just how this behaves in humidity, I can't stand having things stuck on my face like that. It just drives me nuts. So that really, really drove me bonkers. <laughs> Let's zoom in and take a look up close at how this one is doing. I've lost a lot of coverage, but at the same time, it doesn't have a ton of coverage. So it is fading gracefully in that respect. And my blush bronzer highlight does appear to have stayed very well intact. So I feel like it does make a good base for some makeup if your goal is, you know, just to give your makeup a little bit more longevity than having worn it on its own. It, I like it for, you know, it's not accentuating pores, it's not accentuating lines, it's not settling into anything. It feels plenty hydrating. It does feel very nice in that regard. So as far as the usual dry skin and maturing skin, I think for both it's fine what you have to enjoy is a very dewy finish and you have to be able to tolerate the fact that it doesn't dry down completely that you might have a tacky finish that might have fuzzies sticking to it all day and that becomes super frustrating 
at least if you're me. I just can't stand that feeling. And maybe it's because I'm surrounded by four cats and there's fur everywhere, so I always have fuzzies getting stuck on me. But that's a big downside for me. Sports. Yeah. yeah. If I had to give a grade to the Purely Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30, it has a lot of upsides. It has a couple big downsides. I am going to give it a high B minus because a B wouldn't frustrate me quite this much, but it has enough upsides that it's not a C. That's that's where I'm at with this right now. That's that's where I'm at. I will definitely try this a few more times because I feel like it has the potential to be, you know, A range if I can just figure out how to make it not tacky. Maybe a different powder, even though you guys know I use that Charlotte Tilbury powder with everything. Maybe, maybe different powder. Maybe it'll work better with primer. I don't know. I will play around. You'll find out if I have any better luck with it in a future foundation follow-up. We're going to go B- minus on this one. And that is another Foundation Fest episode in the books. If you enjoy foundation reviews, if you would like me to keep on doing them, give me a thumbs up below. Go down to geekoutofwater.com. Down, up, over. See, there's another fuzzy on my nose. Oh my gosh. Head to geekoutofwater.com. Click the Foundation Fest link. You'll find a ranked, sortable, searchable spreadsheet that has all of my foundation reviews. Almost all of them. There's a couple missing, but they're almost all there. There's over 200 of them. And you can search it. You can print out top 10 lists. There's all kinds of stuff. Go look at that stuff. It's all free for you guys. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. Come back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern time for new videos. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.